Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Kinect 3D X 1900 XT 512MB PCI Express video card. Included in this package is the user's manual, a CD with drivers, two DVI to VGA adapters, an S video cable, a composite video cable, an HD TV adapter, a video in, video out adapter, a power cable, and the video card. This very long PCI Express video card is based on the ATI R580 chip, which is built on the 90 nanometer manufacturing process. The cooler on the card is quite large and is comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. This fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heatsink, and ports it out the back. This is a very efficient design that works really well and is used by many video card manufacturers. The fan itself is also temperature control which means it automatically adjusts the fan speed based on video processing unit temperature to achieve the best cooling possible. These high-end video cards get very very hot especially the core or the graphic processing unit so you need something really substantial to cool it with. Well this one has a massive heat sink with an aluminum frame, has a copper inside with many fins and that comes in direct contact with the core and the memory and this does result in exceptional cooling power. The card also has two DVI connections an HD TV and video in video out adapter connection as well as a power cable connection. The core speed on this product is 625 megahertz and the 512 megabytes of GDDR3 memory is 1450 megahertz. Now the card comes with 48 pixel shader processors, 16 texture units, 8 vertex shaders, the fill rate is 10 gigapixels per second and the memory bandwidth is 46 gigabytes per second. This video card is packaged with the latest technologies. Really too many to mention in this video, but let me cover the main ones. Smart Shader HD, Smooth Vision HD, 3DC, Hyper-Z HD, Video Shader HD, and supports DirectX 9 and OpenGL. This card also offers support for Shader Model 3, which was missing from ATI's last generation video card products. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is AVIVO, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This card also offers dual display, which means using two displays rather than one will tremendously increase workspace. And remember, this card is Crossfire Multi-GPU ready. And here's how it works. First start with a Crossfire ready motherboard, then insert a Crossfire ready video card. Now install a Crossfire Edition video card that's capable of multi-GPU enabling technology. Finally, connect video cards to the monitor for an ultimate gaming experience. If you're looking at playing the latest and greatest games with all the eye candy enabled on a widescreen display, you definitely want to have a video card like this. But be aware, cards like this do suck a lot of juice. You need to have a good power supply, whether you're in a single and especially if you're in a dual crossfire setup. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. 
Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care.